families together. The Islamic Centre MK here in Coffee Hall still has outstanding debts to pay. Sponsor a brick for £20 in your name, those of your friends and family, or someone who has passed away. Sadaqah wipes out the sins like water extinguishes fire, tiramidi. This Sadaqah Jariah is a form of giving that extends past our lifetime and helps those whom you have donated on behalf of benefit after theirs. To sponsor a brick for £20, email info at ramadanfm.com. That's info at ramadanfm.com. Don't forget to include your name and contact number. Please help to make the Islamic Centre debt-free this Ramadan. Waffles, crepes, cookie dough, ice cream, just what you need after a long day of fasting. Dessert Island is open until 1am during Ramadan, seven days a week. And there is free parking at the rear. Come and see us at 116 to 118 Queensway, Bletchley. We can even deliver. Just visit dessert-island.co.uk or download the app. Intercargo Logistics Simplified. For all of your transport requirements, Intercargo offers transport by air, sea and road, helping you move all your freight around the world. We offer import and export services with direct link to HMRC Customs, enabling us to customs clear your goods at entry, airport or port of entry in the UK. We're fully accredited by EATA and have offices in Milton Keynes, London Heathrow, Manchester, Glasgow, New York, Toronto, Dublin, Amsterdam and Paris. We can meet all of your logistical needs. Intercargo Logistics Simplified. Simplify your legal matters with Art Plan Consultancy. They offer services for commercial leases, buying and selling, residential property transactions, debt matters, contractual agreements, landlord and tenant disputes. Qualified legal advice can also be arranged. Book your free 30 minutes consultation now on 0785 754 9115 or 01908 36 8000. Or you can visit the Ramadan FM website based in Queensway, Bletchley. Save up to less than 50% on fees now. For a list of all our sponsors, please visit ramadanfm.com. Ramadan, 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 Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the tech show with myself and Diaz. Assalamu alaikum, this is Max here. Hope everyone's well out there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, this is Nazir. I think Nazir needs to be a bit closer to the mic or speak a bit louder. That's it here. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing today? I last, love it, that all good. Last couple of days of Ramadan now. I know, I've, I'm full of cold. Yep. And the good thing is that I can't, um, it's not contagious over the radio. Over the radio, no, but the that's bad, bad news, news for us. We're in a very yeah, small, small room here. Small so. enclosed room, so don't, don't know if any of us are going to last by the end of the... No, and I do like to share, so <laughs> that's, my, that's my Ramadan gift to yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's very generous of you. <laughs> I think I've already had the cold. Yeah. So maybe you, you gave me. I might give you a different strain though. Maybe oh, you gave. Maybe you gave it to Max last week. Maybe. Oh, maybe yeah. Because yeah, we were in an enclosed room again last yep. week. Um, we've got a different lineup this week. We've had a different lineup of hosts every week. So the first week it was just me and Fessel. Then it was me, Fessel, and Max. Then it was all four of us: me, Fessel, and Max, Max and Zier. And now it's just three of us. Fessel's gone up north, north of the border. Yeah. Yeah. Has, has he gone to Scotland? Scotland, yeah. Yes. So mm. hopefully he's listening in. And maybe he can drop us a text. I hope he wears a kilt for Eid. I, don't know. I, don't I, don't, I wouldn't want to see that actually even if he did <laughs> um, but yeah so last show yeah it's gone very quick I think it actually has yeah. it has I mean the whole Ramadan everybody panics about it don't they say no 18 hour fast yeah 30 days and, and, uh, and it, it, I'm not going to pretend it was easy because yeah. it, the, the hunger and the thirst isn't the issue it's the, it's the sleep, sleep isn't it? yeah that's the, the, yeah. the, the just, sleep schedule is just yeah. crazy and then you still have to go to work, and you still have to do all the other things. And yep. uh, but Alhamdulillah, got through so far. It's the small windows. Like you have a small window to eat and pray and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. So it makes it a little bit harder. But in a few years, it'll be easier because it'll be in December. A few years. I think it's about a good, maybe ten years probably still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah, because <laughs> it's on a what thirty something year cycle, isn't it? Yeah, so it goes back oh, I think, ten real. ten days every year. Roughly. Yeah, approximately. So, so that would make it thirty six years if it's three hundred sixty five days in a year. Yeah. So, so I remember it being in December when I was a kid. Right. Um, maybe when I was about. I remember it being in the summer when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done, you've done, your I've done the full years, circle, full yeah. cycle. The circle of life. Yeah, I remember. I remember it being. I remember there being a really short one where I could literally, I'd have breakfast before I went to school, basically. Mm, mm. And then if the time would be when I got back. When you got home, yeah. I remember so, that one as well. Yeah. Um, that was quite easy when I was young. 
I mean, not long ago, we were having iftar at work. So Yeah, I've actually, it, I've had that as well, where um, if I had a late lesson at school, yeah. I used to have to take a quick break to have yeah, iftar. Exactly. Um, so that, I guess, is probably still about 20 years for that, because that was mm. probably when it was about 12, 13, maybe. So I've got to yeah, get a good, yeah. Still another 20 Love years. Yeah. <laughs> Maths 25. was never your forte, was no, it? Well, yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's supposed um, to be. But yeah, another 25 years probably still for me, I think, before uh, before it comes back. Okay. That, that seems too much. That'll be 250 days still. Hey, hey. Maybe someone yeah. can text in. So Yeah, tell us when <laughs> it's going to be. 075 Or give us a call. 0208 133 Or give us the formula if you know what the formula is. Yeah, so we when, can just put let's work it out exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But if you know it, I'd rather you just tell me why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> Too much that hard work to work out <laughs> yeah. a formula. Um, so how has everyone's Ramadan been this week? Any any struggles? Any? No, it's been fine. Alhamdulillah. Apart from this cold that I've got, yeah. but uh, I'm not going to mention it again. But I have got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> so if anyone has any sympathy for Max, they can. They yeah, can please that text in. Well. Yeah. If you have any remedies that I can use after iftar, obviously, or even before, if there's anything fancy that you know that somehow will. Yes. Resolve, resolve pressure points or yeah. things like that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You push push this spot on your <laughs> on your lower left leg or something, and then it's it like Spock from Star Trek, <laughs> wasn't it, where you could make people unconscious just yeah. by touching their shoulder or something. Um, I felt like that yesterday in the car, to be honest. Oh yeah, so uh, me and Nazir uh-huh. went to an event in uh, London yesterday with um, Mufti Mank. With Mufti Ben? Yeah, he's well, yeah, friends. he sent me a text. Yeah. When, uh, it's, okay. I got a text in the morning saying that said from Mufti Ben. Okay. So I'm, assume, I'm assuming he wrote that person. Uh, you never know. Yeah. And he even said assalamu alaikum brother to me. So, so. Yeah. So, you know. Well, I, mean, nice. I don't think he said that one specifically to us, but we were in the audience. <laughs> okay, you're right. Okay. Um, and yeah, it was it was a job trying to uh, keep Nazir awake on the way back. Oh, um, yeah. I hope he wasn't driving. No, I was driving. Okay, that's all right so, then. But my logic was if I have to stay awake because yes. I'm driving, he has to stay awake as well. As my True. Case, so, but eventually I gave up and let, <laughs> let him sleep. Um, but it was a good event. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Where it was, was it? So it was at the XL Arena in London. Okay. okay. So it was about three hours to get there because right. of the traffic. That's not bad um, because earlier on you said it was three and a half hours. So yeah, so it knocked off half an hour. Okay. Just, just <laughs> By the end of the show, it'd be <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it did include a couple of wrong turns for myself. But I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, when you're driving and fasting and going through London and stuff is yes. easy, easy to do. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, we made it eventually. Um, and yeah, it was pretty good. So he gave a he gave us about half hour talk at first. Yeah. Uh, there's also there was a kids grand competition as well that, okay. was, that we caught at the end of. That was great. Right. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, the kids they they won uh, Umrah as well. So yeah. that was that was quite good. The ones who won. You know, what? I found funny the reactions. Of all yeah. The kids. There was there was, one, there was one there was one there was one kid who was very confident. He was in right. the um, nine to twelve category. Okay. And I don't know if you can see us on Facebook, he's but he's, this, he's right? literally, they've called them up to announce the yeah. results and he's standing there with his going, <laughs> <laughs> sort of making a number one with his hand because yeah. he was that confident that he won, that he won and he did, he did win, okay. which is good to see. Um, but yeah, and there was also, I don't, I'm going to pronounce his name terribly, but there was a guy from Bosnia, uh, Fatih Seferidzic, I think that's kind of how you pronounce okay. his name. Um, so he's a reciter. Okay. And uh, he was really good as well. I'd, I'd not yeah. heard him before. Right. Um, but basically, they led half the Dravi each. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was really good. Um, as long as so we usually do eight here, but they did a full 20, 20 there. Okay. So they did 10 each. Right. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. That was it. a new experience yeah. for me. Um, and he's actually in Milton Keynes tonight, I found out. Oh, right, he's okay. going to be at the new Bradwell Mosque. Okay. Um, I think from Isha time. Right, so you, yeah, if you're in Milton Keynes, it's worth, worth catching. That's very good. Um, we don't hear enough of New Bradwell these days, do we? I think because we hear a lot about Rauda yeah. and Coffee Hall and um, the Bletchley Mosque, but um, New New Bradwell seems to have maybe maybe is mentioned. I just don't hear much about it these um, days. I suppose yeah, slightly far, further out. I guess it but, is. But um, it's just one of those things that not everyone gets a chance to go to. But I just happened to I f- since I saw him yesterday, I followed yeah. him on Instagram. Okay. And I was going for he's he's posted this morning. Oh, I'm going to be in Milton Keynes. Okay, oh. <laughs> that's very very random. I got a little clip actually. I'll, I'll see if I can play that on the. Um, so just for, just so you people know what they might be hearing. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. Because I definitely think it's definitely worth popping down if you get a chance. Let's just see if we see if it comes. <laughs> وَإِن تُبْدُوا مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ تُخْفُوهُ يُحَاسِبْكُمْ بِهِ اللَّهُ فَيَغْفِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيُعَذِّبُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Yeah, 
That's that just a short 30 second clip, but gives you an idea of the recita- recitation. Mm. You've got a very nice voice. Mm, um, so yeah, so I recommend if you've got any muscle loyalties, you put them aside tonight. <laughs> you head over to mm, yeah. head over to New Radwell. New Radwell. And I'd imagine it's going to be pretty busy as well, so you probably want to head yeah. get there a bit early. We um, we went over to Rauda yesterday and um, uh, the Imam was reading Surah Rahman. Yep. And really you know, beautifully read. Obviously, he's a very good reciter. Yep. And uh, it's just enjoyable listening to somebody when they recite it that clearly and so clearly. Yeah, that was, that was the thing yeah, yesterday. So, so like, um, when we kind of figured out it was going to be 20, we were a bit worried that cause yeah. we were used to doing eight, that it was going to be, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be quite long. But it, you didn't really feel it because, mm-hmm. like you said, you enjoyed listening to it. Yeah. And at the end, you're still thinking, actually, I wish they could just carry on for a mm. bit, <laughs> for, uh, for a bit longer. <laughs> yeah. When I was listening to Mufti Menk um, the other day on YouTube and he was saying that he's sort of given up Leading yep. uh, Salah now because he deliberately yeah, so that's, reads that's, a lot that's slower. We, we got really lucky that he was yeah. um, that he, yeah, he did full, a full ten yeah. record and he mm-hmm. did the Witter as well. Right. Um, yeah, and we didn't know that the the, the other guy was going to be there as well, so that was mm-hmm. a surprise. And to, be yeah, honest, to get I both didn't know him until yesterday, but his voice was crazy. Yeah, it was very really good. Um, but yeah, I'd heard the same thing when yeah. he said, "Oh, I, I don't really do it as much because uh, he said he's getting a bit older." Yeah, and he reads a lot slow, yeah. a lot more slowly now, but. Um, that's good. Well, yeah, no, it's a great experience. Um, I think you can catch um, catch a bit of the talk he g- d- gave us on the Iman channel. I think they've got a YouTube yeah. page. Okay. Um, so you can check it out on there. I think if it you was live watched. yesterday as well. Yeah, they were streaming it live as well. They've right. got a Sky channel as well, I think, 769, if anyone's got Sky. Okay. Um, but yeah, that was our yesterday. Good. And yeah, it was a good, good experience. So if I can just bring this back online now. Yes. This is supposed to be the tech show. Yes. Okay. Uh, last week we had all four of us here and we were discussing inventions by Muslims yep. um, and we summarised really that most of those inventions were probably about 800 to 1200 years ago Yep. Um, and we questioned whether there were any more modern inventions by Muslim inventors. Now I've spent a little bit of time um, trying to ask Sheikh Google about these things <laughs> And uh, I came up blank. There is nothing uh, in the last 100, 200 years that is uh, directly attributable to a Muslim inventor that Mm. I could find. Yeah, same. So I struggled as well. Um, The only thing I can think of is that um, thing from yesterday. Yeah. um, Channel Academy. Yeah, I guess it's not really an invention. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. um, Yeah, it's been... It's it's weird. Even whenever I've looked for it, the only things I could find is... Muslim inventions that you use in the modern day, yeah, exactly. which is basically what we talked about. Yeah, right? like coffee machines yeah. and you know, all those sort of things. But So finding stuff that's actually been... But I guess, yeah, how many things were invented in the last hundred years other than, like, computer stuff? Yeah, but I mean, the, but, but again, when we were discussing this earlier, we were saying that 800, 1,000 years ago, if you invented something, yeah, then you invented it, didn't yeah. you? It was a personal thing that you worked on and you invented. Now, most people... Yeah, it's now like part the of, iPhone was part of Apple. Yeah, exactly. You know, part of organisations, like, yeah. part of businesses. Yeah. So, so you there could probably have, are Muslim guys yeah. around in so the you could countries. have people, yeah, mm. an engineer with BT, for example, who's yeah. a Muslim, who comes up with a, yeah, tran- a new transmission method. Yeah. Yeah. But it will be BT who gets... You get the uh, invention. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, True. I suppose there's a lot... There less. are other communications companies out there, by the <laughs> way. Just there, there's a lot less, um, a lot less people sort of on their own in their garage yeah. coming up with something and yeah. jumping off buildings with feathers on themselves trying to fly. <laughs> yeah. No, I think there is a competition still every year, isn't there, for, um, for jumping off buildings? Uh, unpowered flight. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we'll um, to, we'll tune and people you have all sorts of different <laughs> costumes and different contraptions that they strap to themselves and jump off a pier. It reminds me of one one thing I do like uh, watching. It's not really I don't think. Well, there might, there might be soap Muslim, boxing. Soap boxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Red Bull soap. It comes box. on Dave, Dave cool. sometimes. Yeah, that yeah, Red Bull soap boxing. The the things that people come up with. They're to, just insane. Yeah, it's you just crazy. What? I think it'll be quite fun to actually try it though. But I just, I just don't know where they like the people are far more creative than I am. Too. Yeah. Like when you see the the vehicles, I guess that they come up yeah. with. I mean, they're creative, but they've also got a death wish, haven't they? Because yeah, those things really... They do not look safe at all. <laughs> <laughs> some, 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 down a hill. Yeah, some of them seem to work really well. Yeah. And yeah, some others, o- others not so much. Yeah. <laughs> but it is quite funny. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, as we can't find any um, 
new inventions. If anybody knows of any new yeah, inventions, or if anybody if... out there's an inventor that's invented something Actually, that yeah, we don't know about, that's definitely something. <laughs> yeah, please do call in, text in, Facebook, etc. I'm sure MDRs can give you all the details. Yeah, so it's uh, facebook.com slash Ramadan FM, uh, or you can WhatsApp us on 0751 Email info at ramadanfm.com, www.ramadanfm.com. Uh, I'm not sure what you can do on there, but that's the website. Uh, and the studio line if you want to give us a call is 0208 133 4107 or if you don't know anybody that's an inventor or what thing would you like to see invented so what equipment yeah, idea, or whatever actually, yeah. that really would make life easier or better yeah that we're, we're going to go through a couple of um, Muslim startups or Muslim ideas that are quite recent that are not really inventions but, um, but yeah, it just gives an idea I of, it's a different kind of invention in a way yeah it, they've seen a niche in the market where you know a gap in the market and then they tr- they filled it which is good and uh, i wish them every success but if um if there's other things out there that uh, i mean for example one thing that i thought would really help um muslims is um tesla for example with their electric car we talk- spoke about this a couple yeah. of weeks ago um they're going to have a an auto park system whereby yeah. you can uh, um, drive to a shop, get out of the car, and I think then the I know car where you're will going go. With this, uh, the automatic car... parking at mosques. Exactly. <laughs> so you can get out to the mosque, and then your car will go and park somewhere yeah. without blocking any, your neighbours. Or yeah, yeah. you know what we need when next time any mosques decide to do like a renovation project, yeah. they need to go for one of those uh, car parks that has that machine. So you drive into a spot, yeah. and then it just picks your car up. That's and right, parks it exactly. Yeah, so it's it like takes, iRobot. It takes all the hassle out of it, and yes. then you can't you can't rely on us a lot to park on curbs on people's exactly. drives in people's front gardens, on, on people's roofs, whatever, yeah. wherever people come up with nowadays. So when I first heard about it, I thought that's just people being lazy. They yeah. don't want to walk back to their car. But when it comes to a mustard, it's probably <laughs> yeah. quite a good thing to <laughs> yeah. have that. I feel that, yeah, I think that's a very good idea. Yeah. Um, so we have actually had a couple of texts. So I'm assuming this one's from Festival because it says no kilts. No oh, kilts. So, okay. he is, so he is listening and he's saying, yeah, no, kilt, a, no kilts for Eid. Yeah, it's a bit cold up north as well. So yeah, you, that's, that's true. Actually, don't well, know, today's really hot down here. So I wonder, what, I wonder what they've got... Um, yeah. Although I am in here wearing my fleece because I'm not well, just in case I didn't mention that earlier on. Yeah, and uh, even though even is though Max is not well, I have still I'm still blasting the air conditioning. Is, um, <laughs> Thanks. He's, he's thoughtful warm. like that. <laughs> uh, and we got another text exactly from my mum saying no sympathy for, uh, <laughs> for you. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's have a look at some of those startups. Is there any one in particular that caught your eye? Um, I think they were all very interesting. And I've just pressed the wrong button on my phone, which means it's <laughs> killed it now. So hang on a minute. I'll be with you. Just a moment, caller. Um, the one I liked uh, off the top of my head was um, the Journal for Muslims. Okay, yeah. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a journal, like a diary kind of thing, but intended for Muslims. Um, what were they called, those books that were everybody... It was all the rage about back in the late 80s. Um, yeah, this is a diary, right? No, it's file of facts. File of facts, yeah. that's the word. <laughs> yeah, this is a similar thing yeah. to file of facts, isn't it? Yeah, you don't What's know what file of facts is? Never heard of it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Are you he, not the same age, you two? He's older than me. Yeah. He should know. I don't know. What, I've never seen <laughs> one. Okay. A file of facts is basically a, um, a book, or a loose leaf almost, and you can insert things in there like um, calendars, uh, maps, uh, to do lists, and yeah, it was like a diary. Oh, but you could uh, tailor it to your own personal you needs. You the little things that you can put things in. Yeah, the things that you can put things in. Yeah, you, yeah. Very, very descriptive. You know the ones you feel like that and put the paper in. I don't think people on the radio yeah, can this, see you do that. Come on, this is a, let's go for something more descriptive. <laughs> things that you can put things in. You can you do... Put plastic sleeves. <laughs> plastic. plastic wallets. Okay. Yeah, 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 it did have plastic yeah, wallets that you could put things in. But it was, it was an organiser so that you could... Um, it had a section on the calendar, it had a section on things to do, it had a section on you know, birthdays, whatever it was, so that okay. people would walk, and some people had really, really thick file of faxes. Yeah. Always the thicker the file of fax, the busier you were. Um, I never had a file of fax, that sort so of says were. a lot really, doesn't <laughs> it? So, uh, but yeah, so that journal reminds me of that bit. Yeah, it's kind of a similar idea, but um, the stuff inside is tailored for Islam stuff, so um, I've got a sample of one of the pages here, and um, so you choose like a day, and you can say... So the start, the start of the page has got a dua you can read for when you wake up. Um, it's got like a little checkbox you can read when you can tick it off when you've prayed your uh, namaz. That's pretty cool. Um, 
It's got a thing saying uh, what's on your mind, so you can write your feelings or whatever for the day. It's got a verse from the Quran. Um, and then it's got a thing so you can set some goals, like what would make today a success. And then the next page is what did you do to make, like, right. did you actually do it, that kind of stuff. So do you think people would use that sort of thing now or because so, of tele- uh, phones That's the thing, and, yeah. Like, I reckon a lot of stuff like Filofax and stuff has been replaced by yeah. um, mobile, phone. mobile phones. But I yeah. suppose some people still do like pen and paper. They do. Um, so that, And it's very specific. So some people, mm. they might like, to, I don't know, if you go to like, like Islamic classes, that kind of stuff, it might be handy to have something as specific as this. Yeah. Even for kids, for kids, if you don't want to give them a phone, yeah, yeah. Um, give them something like this to keep them occupied. I'm and sure also they're... make sure they know when their homework's due yeah. and what classes they've got uh, and all the rest of it. So, um, so yeah, they they got a website, journalformuslims.com. You can check them out on if, and if you're interested in it. But it is good because people in their busy lives, they, yeah, they, they might want to uh, learn more about the deen, they might want to um, do more ibadat, but yeah, things get in the way. Yeah. Whereas if you write it down, and people have often said that, yeah, an, an action is just an idea unless you write it down and then follow it up. If you yeah. don't write it down, then you'll forget it and then you won't actually do it. So if you write something down, you're much more likely to actually do that thing. Yeah, and even myself at work, when I, I go through phases where sometimes I try and make all my notes on my laptop, mm. then sometimes I decide, no, actually, I'm going to write them down because then I'll actually do them. And, yeah, so, yeah. and even um, one thing, like we're saying about phones and stuff, I don't know about you, but I've got literally hundreds of apps on my phone. Mm. Yeah. Um, I do keep it quite organised, they're all in folders and stuff, yeah. but it's quite easy to forget that yeah, the app's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas if you've got this physical book, I guess, you can leave it by your bedside or something, mm. and then you know, when you go to bed, when you wake up, it's there. It's yeah. a physical reminder of something to do, yeah. I guess. You, you're more, more likely to remember it then. I often wake up, in, yeah, so maybe in the middle of the first thing in the morning, thinking, oh, I must do this. And yep. Because I don't have a pen and paper next to the bed, I don't write it down, and therefore later on I forget and thinking, you know, what was that thing that I was supposed to do? Mm. And the phone is never in the bedroom anyway, so right. it's always on charge in, um, in the spare room. Um, so something like that, if you could keep it there. Because the phone is too intrusive you know, that you, know, you get texts. I know you can switch the notifications yeah. off and things, but it's, um, if somebody wants to call me and it's urgent, they've got my home number and they can ring me on that. But otherwise, my mobile is just... Uh, yeah, too me, many I'm the, I'm, I'm my the opposite. Number. My, my uh, phone charges next to my bed right? so that I can instantly pick it up when I wake up in the right. morning. And <laughs> so, when I go back to when I go to bed at last night, thing, like, it's the last first thing you see, the last thing you see. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm quite lucky. My, my phone does have a pen as well. Right. See it on the oh, okay. So if I did want to make notes, that, that's, that's my, I'll use that as my excuse. That's why I keep it next to my bed to make notes. Okay. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's why I keep it next to my bed as well. I don't know, just this. I, I feel like um, you know, when you go to sleep at night, you feel quite disconnected. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to see what's going on, what, hap- what <laughs> happened overnight, basically. <laughs> uh, uh, um, another um, idea in that um, on that website is something called Salam Sisters, and it's um, it's really dolls for little girls, but these dolls are dressed um, in Muslim attire, and it's to give kids much more of a um, an idea that um, you know, Muslims can not just be you know, the race that that child is, but from any race. So there's white, black, brown, whatever uh, dolls and different sort of uh, dress uh, headgear and clothes that they wear, just to give them an idea of the diversity of um, uh, w- women. I think they're mostly g- uh, girl dolls, aren't they? Um, yes, g- by the looks in Islam, of things. by the looks of the picture. Although that may not be all the dolls that they do. Um, no, it's pretty interesting because yeah, uh, representation is important. Um, I suppose yeah, I'm never really into dolls, but I suppose if you if, if that's something I you are into, it, yeah. and yeah. you go to a shop and you don't see one that fits your image, yeah, you might feel a bit upset. So I know when um, Alicia was at nursery, um, they used to have uh, little, they used to play with dolls, and they had black dolls yep. or dark brown dolls. Um, which I think that was probably the first time I'd actually seen, seen them, a yeah. dark brown doll. Yeah. And that was, again, just so that kids were familiar with playing with different coloured kids, different coloured dolls, and different coloured kids could play with dolls of the same colour as themselves. So, which is very important. It's all about acceptance, isn't it? And yeah, definitely. Um, so their website, luckily the websites for these are all fairly straightforward. Salamsisters.com you might have guessed <laughs> yeah. that one so the last one was journal yeah. journalformuslims.com this one's salamsisters.com so they've done well with their websites they're nice, yes. and e- nice and easy to remember if you remember the product um, but yeah so we're coming up to our first ad break so we've just got about 
10 seconds left mm-hmm. for that uh, so we'll carry on with the show afterwards uh, we've got a few more startups and we want to hear from inventors, inventors or I, inventions or that you would you like to see the idea person wh- wh- whatever whatever yeah. you I'm not promising that we'll actually be able to invent what you want, but no, let's we'll just put share it, we'll what put it is. It out there. We'll, yes. we'll, we'll write it down on Facebook. You never know. And if it's successful, we want 10%. Each. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want 15. 15. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have the negotiations later when okay. you can ring in and, and deal with that. Okay. Right. Assalamu alaikum. Luxury. Keeping the tradition alive with qualified scholars, retreats, madrasa, and classes in Quran, Arabic, theology, fiqh, sunnah sports. We also have classes for new Muslims and women. Join us for a spiritual infusion at Luxury Hub in central Milton Keynes this Ramadan and throughout the year. For more information, please visit lot-tree.org. At Pepe's Peri Peri, we serve the finest premium halal grilled chicken. Open seven days a week from 11 a.m. until midnight. Come and try one of our juicy, irresistible flavors at Pepe's Milton Keynes, 27 North 10th Street. We also have a separate function hall and we'll be taking bookings for iftar parties during Ramadan. For pre-orders, home deliveries and iftar bookings, please call 01908 5508888. Love fresh, love tasty, love Pepe's. Prayer facility available. Alfa Rose Kebabish Netherfields brings you the best halal food in Milton Keynes. Our chef has prepared delicious dishes for you, so come and join us for iftar at 11 Farthing Grove, Netherfields, Milton Keynes. To place an order or book a table, please call 01908 232 Oh, mountains of Mecca, what can we say of the day that Abraham Offering delicious desserts and drinks, Creams in Escape Building Milton Keynes has it all. From warm waffles to pancakes with cool ice creams too. Creams will make you go mmm. To win a free dessert for two, answer this question. Where is Creams located? Email your answers to info at ramadanfm.com along with your name and number. Winners will be announced at the end of Ramadan. Creams, the yummy desserts made for you. Awarded the UK's Best Muslim Charity of the Year, Muslim Global Relief, bringing hope to life for 20 years in over 40 countries around the world. Every water pump you helped to install, every needy person you helped to feed, every orphan child that you sent to school has a powerful impact on people's lives. Let us continue to make change. Make a 100% zakat donation today. Visit muslimglobalrelief.org. Al-Khair Foundation has spent over 100 million pounds of your donations amongst the most needy around the world in the past six years. Only 50 pounds will buy a food pack for a family of six. Please donate your zakat and sadaqat on 03000-999-786 or at alkhair.org. Bless and be blessed this Ramadan with Al Khair Foundation. Why not come and visit us at Al Ansar? We sell HMC meat, HMC frozen snacks, and a whole range of other foods and ingredients. And what's more, all throughout the month of Ramadan, we have a range of special offers. So come and see what we have in store. You can find us at 153 Queensway in Bletchley. Do you want to study a BA Honours in Business Management or in Health and Social Care? Can you speak and write English? If the answer is yes, then this is an opportunity for you to gain a fully accredited qualification funded by the government. Good Response Learning are offering you admission on the 21st and the 30th of May. Contact 01908 368 000 or 07857 549 115. That's 07857 549 115. You can also visit the Ramadan FM website. Good response, caring for adult learning. For a list of all our sponsors, please visit ramadanfm.com. Ramadan, 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 87.9 FM. Ramadan, 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 87.9 FM. Okay, assalamu alaikum. We're back from our ad break. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And we're into our final half an hour of our 
shows for Ramadan this year. Indeed. So Not just today's show, but that's it. Yeah, that's All it shows. for us, because there's yep. no more weekends left in Ramadan. So any, what day are we on now? Is it 27th day 27th day today. Yeah, so we've got... Two straight three just, days. Yeah, possibly just tomorrow and Monday. Possibly. Uh, I don't know if we've had anything yet, but no. any, I don't think you can find out this it's early. It's the 4th or the 5th, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so it's not even going to be Tuesday or Wednesday, I guess. Yes. Um, I'm sure there'll be... Thursday as well somewhere but um, <laughs> but never mind yeah well, I guess there, people, there's reasons for that some, we need some, to accept it some people started Tuesday I guess right yeah. so if they do a full 30 that's right then they could end up on Thursday um, but they tend to I think everyone has a lot of different start dates but usually the end date I think recently they is, is still recently vary close, by day or two yeah. But, uh, but anyway yeah there's all just different opinions so it's all it's all fine it is um, what's your plans for Eid are you, where are you going to pray are you going to Campbell Park Campbell Park in Shadow the weather's nice yeah is yeah, it? Same kind yeah. of yeah uh, that's, that's where I like to go. So it's quite good. It's nice playing outdoors with a. It is. It's a nice atmosphere there as yeah. well, isn't it? And they're uh, very, very well organised and they do do an excellent job, Michelle. Yeah, and because so. you're outdoors, you don't really have a spa- any space space constraints either. No, so that's right. It's every, everyone's welcome. So I recommend. So if anybody that. is going there, I think they were saying that um, they're not allowed to use the speakers before 9 a.m. Right. So they'll start the, the beer at 9 and then the. Uh, Jamad will probably be around 9.30-ish, um, oh, yeah. I guess, so. So I guess that's anything else. If, yeah, if people got work and stuff, they might not be able to make that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, if you're free, I recommend I recommend that one. It's always good fun. Mm. Especially, yeah, especially if the weather's nice. If it's light today, it should be a good day. And, and the, the other thing is a lot of kids have got exams at the moment, haven't they? Yeah, it's, true. Uh, GCSEs exam are still ongoing, so some of those may not be able to celebrate either at all or during the day anyway, so... And if they're studying or exams the following day, then revision, and so it's quite a tough time for them. So I just had a text. Um, Soapbox Challenge is in Milton Keynes next week. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excellent. So my dad, my dad just messaged me saying that. Um, so let's see if we can find some more information on that. Let's watch. Because that might be fun to... It might be fun to go to. To go to. Yeah. Um, yeah, Milton Keynes Soapbox Derby 2019 with my Milton Keynes. Okay. Saturday, 8th of June. Where Very is good. it, though? Let's see. It is in... MK21, where's that? MK what? MK21. Oh, no, they're, they're going to race down Midsummer Boulevard. Really? Yeah, yeah Central Milton Keynes. Really? Yeah, Mil- Midsummer Boulevard and Sa- Saxon Gate, Saturday 8th of June. Split into three thrilling races down a 200-meter course filled with challenging obstacles. And there's three categories, junior, senior, and business and company races. Shit. So I think... Don't they need cl- a bit of a slope for that? Though. I, could, I don't think uh, Midsummer's got much of a slope, has it? Well, yeah, you can. If you, if you sort of go from the Marks and Spencer's end... That's not to the station. Yeah. 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 It's, to the water okay. station. There's a bit of a slope. Okay. I reckon you could probably do it. I'd imagine they thought of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? The, yeah. Everyone gets there on the day the, the, and they the, just the let stop. them go and they just nothing. <laughs> they not going nothing anywhere. Happens. Uh, um, but yeah, it starts at half, uh, half 12, 12.30 p.m. Okay. Um, and you can enter. You, there's still time to enter the event. Really? Yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to get a time, uh, time together, uh, a time to get a team together that team quickly yeah. and build something. Um, but <laughs> if anyone, I think we could get a team together. It's the building yeah, thing the build, that, the that would be the that issue. Be, yeah, uh, but building if anyone's interested, let's, let, yeah, drop us a text. Yeah, seven five one zero seven eight one four eight three. We're recruiting for a soapbox team. That's right. And yeah, the city centre is going to be closed for for that. They're going to close off really? the roads. Well, oh, the, wow. the roads at least. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's a bit different. To, I remember they did it for Red Bull. They what, did it for they, the Formula One yeah, team, they, didn't they? They won the World Championship. Um, so it's gonna be a bit different. I yeah, think. that's right. <laughs> I think to that, but I think the cars might be going a little bit slower. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it'd be impressive if they got up to the same speeds. I think it looks like it's free to watch as well. So I might, yeah, I think definitely I might try and pop down to that. I don't think okay. It's cost to go. Though, it's good. Um, Saturday the eighth. Yeah. So yeah, basically a week today. Um, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's funny 12:30. how all these things are. Uh, I know. Lining up like yeah. uh, like yesterday we were saying yeah. We, now your reciter we, is yeah, here. Yeah, we saw the, the reciter and, and then turns out he's here today. And then we're talking about the soapbox challenge that's happening next week in Milton Keynes. So basically, to sum up, Milton Keynes is the place to be. It is. Sounds of things. Yeah. I think yeah. Anyone, anyone, anyone can. It's very clear for everyone to see now. Yeah, of that. course. Yeah. <laughs> but why would you want to go anywhere else? But yeah. Um, so back to our Muslim startups. Yes. So there's another one there, which is. Um, about a prayer mat, a pocket prayer mat, and you might think, well, yeah, we, we've had other pocket prayer mats before, but this one is a um, a handmade mat, but, but handmade mat, uh, but by a Japanese-based company, strangely. But um, they've 
put a lot of thought into it because the way that they've made it, it's made of a fabric that's waterproof. So if you have to brown the grass or something like that, then um, your socks and um, legs are protected. Um, also, where, the way that it folds up, it means that you never... Um, the, the ground side never touches the upper side, so it never soils oh, the bit where you're actually going to stand. Mm-hmm. So... Um, yeah, that's it, a that's a really clever idea. That yeah, and it actually, folds up into a little yeah. pouch, and you can put it in your pocket, take it away, and then you know, if you need to read Salah and you're not anywhere near mustard, then yeah, you're fully. Even equipped. if you are, because yes, yesterday I went to um, Masjid Roda for Jummah, yep. yeah, and I had to pray outside on the grass because okay. it, so, it was so full, right? Because um, there's a janazah as well as uh, yes, yeah, as Jummah, well as yeah. like last Jummah in Ramadan, yeah. the summer holidays as well. Yeah. So I literally couldn't even get inside the mosque. There's no summer holidays um, yet. Half term, something. Okay, I think there's lots of kids. Half term, yeah, yeah so half term. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so and yeah, and then even yesterday at the um, event we were at, they yeah. misjudged how many oh, lines yes. they needed. So uh, for Maghrib, they just put basically the white paper rollout okay, that yeah, they yeah. used that Table they used to eat thingy. on basically, yeah. and it was on a rock hard floor. Yeah. So if we had something like this in our pocket, mm. I'm definitely gonna actually I'm, look into that. I'm that, not I think sure it's, it's particularly cushioned. It's better than nothing, right? Yeah, it looks, I know. It looks reasonably thick, to be honest. Yeah, yeah but then if it folds up into that small... Uh, unless yeah, it's, it, when it th- folds out, it's not... Yeah, unless it's like those mats that you get for camping that uh, auto sort of inflate. Out or something. Yeah. I think it's perfect for, like, travelling and stuff, definitely. Sorry? For travelling and stuff, it's perfect. So you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You can order it on the website. It's $29, but I'm not sure what, what dollars that is, whether it's uh, American dollars or... It wouldn't be Japanese dollars, because they don't use dollars. <laughs> Do they not? No. no. Okay, so it's probably American dollars. <laughs> Um, and they're doing free world for Ramadan. They're doing free worldwide shipping above fifty dollars. So oh, if you know two people that want to get it, yeah. you both order it in the same. And it's takva.co, which yes. is an interesting. So they're, they're the only ones who haven't got a yeah. uh, easy to remember name, but it's t a k v a dot co. <coughs> um, and they've got a few other products as well. So I think that's actually a proper invention. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they've got and something else called the prayer parker, which looks like a jubba, but it's half jubba, half coat. Okay. And it rolls up into a sleeping bag. What? <laughs> so, that's, that's pretty crazy. So they describe it's a bit like Inspector Gadget, yeah. isn't it? So. We all need that handy throw on for those times when we need to appropriately, when we need to be appropriately and modestly dressed, mm-hmm. especially when travelling, praying, or during unpredictable events like the weather. Right. So this encompasses all the goodness of an abaya or a jubba, and also the goodness of a parker coat. Right. <laughs> so it's basically a jubba made out of a parker coat. Right. Pretty interesting. Okay. It's good for the winter. Yeah, and it's got lots of pockets and uh, <coughs> it's a thin, light, opaque f- fabric. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting as well. So, so we sp- water repellent. So we spoke about inventions. I don't, have, I don't know whether we've got any text or anything yet from anybody that's wanting an invention. Have you thought of anything that you might like to see invented? Um, so I, my my dad always uh, reminds me of some of the ones that I've come up with over the years. Okay. My my favourite one, which I still think there's a market for. And there's are, there are some. So you've got to be careful about this because somebody might yeah, take your idea. Yeah, But if they do steal it, I'm fine with it. I, w- I okay. want I want it, I want to use it myself. So okay. I don't think I have the chops to actually okay. do it myself. But um, basically, there are some products that do it, but I just don't think they do it as well as my idea would. Right. It's basically it's an alarm clock. Yes. That brews you a cup of tea. The, the, they've got teas made. It does that. Yeah, the, but it's not as good because I've seen that you have to use like um, you still have to pour your own milk and stuff and. So mine would have like a fridge compartment that you pour your milk in. See, now this is this is what we go back to the discussion we had a couple of weeks ago, weren't we? When you were saying that you've got Alexa to switch on your lights and yeah. switch your lights off because you know, why work it out of bed when you can just say Alexa, switch your lights on? Well, I really struggle getting out of bed in the morning when when I for a work day I find it really difficult to. Just, yeah, but then once having, I'm out of bed is fine, but it usually takes me like half an hour to, from my alarm going off. Okay, actually, but then having something that makes the tea and puts the milk in and stirs it and yeah. then presents the cup right to your mouth. No, yeah, is not, it going to make ask, you get out of bed any I'm easier, is it? I'm not asking it to pour, pour the tea into my mouth. Just, just so uh, why don't just take it intravenously? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, saw it, um... I just think it's a really good idea. Well, for me, actually, it's not too big of a deal because I don't, like, like I mentioned last week, I don't have tea in my milk anyway. Okay. But you don't have, have tea in your milk? You'd have a, I don't have milk in my tea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you'd have a fridge compartment for your milk, a little sugar thing. Yes. And... Um, then the, obviously the water, which you fill up in a normal, like a normal coffee machine, yeah. and it's done by an alarm. And what you can do is it will use uh, the buzzword nowadays, artificial intelligence. Mm. <laughs> to, uh, so it starts off with like a, you can program it with an app. Mm. So to, you say, oh, I want, I want it to be this color with this amount of sugar. 
blah 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 and then it sort of tweaks it depending on your tastes like it'll make a few changes and then you can rec- say yep I like that it'll stick to that right that kind of stuff um, yeah I don't see what the difference coming, is coming between soon. the teams the teams made though I, I looked it up there was, when, I, when I looked it up once there was, a, there was an issue oh I mean they've got these coffee machines haven't they like uh, Tassimo and other coffee, coffee machines are available I know they're coffee yeah. but why not just have a sachet that you could the, use in one of those coffee machines same. that'll give you the have tea you, have, you tried, have you had tea from a yeah from and it's horrible it's really That's, not the same I don't like it. most even, most teas as you know even if you, <laughs> but even if you get the same um, the same uh, tea bag brand yeah. that you get and you put it in your coffee machine so yeah. um, my mum and dad have Twinings I don't yeah. like Twinings but you can get Twinings do yeah. you Tassimo pods as well yeah I have a Tassimo machine yeah it doesn't taste anything like what an actual tea bag tastes okay like. um, yeah so it has to be proper tea okay um but yeah, if you look at the teas made, I mean, all it does is boil water. Yeah. It doesn't actually and do the full thing. Okay. Does it not pour the water into the cup with the tea bag in or? Uh, Maybe it's, not. It's unclear. It looks, okay. like, it looks like it's just a kettle that's got an alarm clock. <laughs> into it, which is not the same. Yeah. It's okay. not the same. You, have to, right. you, still have to, you still have to get up. You have to get your cup. Yeah. You have to get the tea bag. You have to get your sugar or sweetener. Such a you have tough to get your life, milk. isn't it? Yeah. Really is tough life. Think about it. I think there's a market. Um, look, they're, char- they're, they're selling 70, 70 quid they're charging for this teapot yes. that's got an alarm clock in. Yeah. Well, you could easy 150 quid for a machine that does it all in one. Okay. It's a good idea. If, so if anyone wants to... <laughs> if anyone wants to invent just, one. Yeah, let me know. Your first customer is yeah, India. I'm, I'm, I promise to buy it. Yes. Whatever you charge, within yeah. reason. Provided, <laughs> whatever you char- <laughs> provided it makes good tea. Yeah. Even if it doesn't, just for the... Just for the, <laughs> just, just for the just because it was my idea. Because it's take. Yeah, I'm you know happy what? to. I, s- I saw a mug yeah. in Selfridges, which was a smart mug. Right. What's um, smart about it? Like, for example, you know how like you have tea and you leave it on the on the table or whatever? Yep. After it goes cold. There's one. Uh, yeah, you can get a lot of these. They've got like, a little heating element in it. Yeah, and it keeps it at the same yeah. temperature the whole um, time. I've heard they're not that safe, though, a lot of them. Right. Because they, they draw a lot of power. So you, a lot of them, they're plugged in by USB or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's right, yeah. Uh, there's, you can also get self-stirring mugs. Yes. Um, yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've, <laughs> I've seen one, which is probably is the most ridiculous. It's a uh, wireless charging mug. Okay. So it comes with a wireless charging pad. Yeah. So you can either charge your phone or heat your mug. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if let's say you have it in your desk at work, yeah. If you want to keep your tea warm, you put your mug on it. Right. If you want to charge your phone, you, you put, put your phone, phone on it. On it. <laughs> just don't put your phone in your tea. In your tea, yeah. yeah. Which is you can tell that's bound to happen. Okay. You that's right. Yeah. And just pop, pop. Oh, there we go. Phone's gone. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's lots of tea-based inventions. I think there. To okay. Be. So what about you? Is there any any inventions that you'd like to see? Um. A chicken and chip ship maker. A chicken and chip shop maker. Yeah. Just makes a chicken What's and chip that? shop maker. What's that? A fryer. It's never dull having the zero <laughs> on the show, is it? Yeah, last week, last week you did mention chicken and chip. It, it was yes, yeah. it was all food related. Last you know week. What? So hang, hang on, let's explain this chicken and chip shop maker more. Do you mean just a fryer? Yeah. So you want to invent a frying pan? Yeah, that would just make me chicken and chips on demand. Yeah, but you can you can get air fryers now, which use little or no oil and you can make chips and chicken in them and they'll come out just as though they'd been deep fried same flavor same texture so but I, they're I've, much I've, healthier i've got one they're not just they're not exactly as fried okay but they are good they're oh, good they're okay fried. yeah but so much healthier yeah even for stuff like um spring rolls and samosas yeah. uh, i was really skeptical i don't think it'd work mm-hmm. um but i found out the mistake i made was so it's quite a big uh it's quite a big thing yeah and um the lid is where the all the power. So mine's actually, to be honest, mine's more of a convection thing. They okay. call it an air fryer, but it's not really. But the issue I did was I just put it all in the big glass thing. Right. And it didn't really work. But if you actually use the trays like you're supposed to, okay. The, so the air goes underneath it and stuff. It does actually. Some stuff comes out really crispy and. Can it? Can you feel the difference? You can definitely tell the difference. Like if you have a small size fried. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you can. You can. You can feel the oil. <laughs> um. Can you turn my microphone down for a second, please? Yes, sure. Thank you. What number are you? Number three? I think you're going to cough or something. Um, <laughs> Give everyone the cold again. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, so they're not quite the same as having it. It's not quite the same as having fried, but it's it's not a bad alternative to be honest. Okay. Um, I think it's good. It'll be good for Ramadan, actually, because we have a lot of fried foods. Most people. Yeah, definitely. Um, so that's what we used it last year. Um, last back. year we used it a lot. And yes. uh, we so yeah, 
So it's interesting. Last year we had the same amount of fried food. Right. But we had it in the air fryer. Okay. This year we're eating less of it. Yeah. But we're actually frying it. Okay. So I don't know which. I don't know what's the better. The better way to do it. What mm. tastes uh, better? Oh, uh, I mean, fry, actually frying it still tastes better. Right. Okay. But air frying it doesn't taste bad. Okay. okay. It's close. It's like it's like ninety percent there. Right. It's just missing that last sort of. When we were in America, we bought um, one of these. If you ever buy pizza and then yep. you heat it in the microwave, yep. then it comes out soggy. It comes out hot, yeah. but it's soggy. So you mean like leftover pizza? Yes. Okay. So that's your first mistake. Leftover pizza tastes better cold. Uh, probably. <laughs> but if you want it warm, then it's... But the reason it tastes better yeah. cold is because if you warm it up, it's all very soggy. No, because it's amazing cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. so, so, uh, that's uh, because you were a student. That's yeah, why. So I that's what students. Yeah, I recommend you, staple diet yeah, you is cold get, pizza. Get, get a pizza for dinner. Eat half of it. Leave half of it out overnight. Have it for breakfast the next day. Very, oh very nice. Oh my god! I can't very even nice. consider having. I think this pizza is becoming more of a food show than tech. Oh, it is. Um, yeah, but, especially tech show. But I've I've got, had pizza for a lot of breakfast. Yeah, honestly, pizza is very good breakfast food. It is very, very nice cold. It really food. isn't. Le- uh, we, we can definitely get some text on that, right? Oh seven five one zero seven eight one four eight three. Pizza for breakfast? Yes or no? No. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Um, I forgot what to say now. Uh, you bought this thing in America. Yes, and it's um, a little metallic dish right. with a lid that you can put in a microwave. In a microwave, okay. Yes. And, so um, it keeps the base. It, yeah, crispy. and then it makes the pizza crispy again. So right. it heats it and makes it crispy. We haven't tried it yet, but. Um, when did you buy it? About a month ago when we okay, were in so America. That's, that's reasonable. Oh, I, thought, right. I thought you were going to say you bought it like five Four years, years ago. Four years ago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, but, uh, uh, I don't think we've had pizza since because it's been over that. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's, that's, de- that's definitely good. That's, yeah, I suppose some people do like to reheat pizza. Crazy people. Hmm. But <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I've bought lots of uh, food-related gadgets in my time. Often a lot of them do not end well. Have we had a halogen open? Oh, yes, that's we've quite got one of those. That's what yeah. the air fryer thing is, basically. No, it's oh, different. Air fryer is different to the halogen. They call it an air fryer. Okay. Um, yeah, because we've got a, a halogen oven, and yeah. it's, I think we used it once or twice, and it's yeah. just a big box in the cupboard. And <laughs> we, it's like our deep fryer is just a big box in the oven, and our griddle. Yeah, so we use those. the deep fryer a lot, actually. Um, we don't. We just use a wok with lots of oil in. The deep fryer, I find, is easier to manage. Mm, it probably is it's safer yeah and the oil doesn't spit out everywhere that no. kind of stuff you, it's less to clean up afterwards yeah uh, so I'm saying that like I'm the one who does uh, it exactly that's what does I was thinking clean up, but, <laughs> but uh, anyway we go yeah. back to food again yeah but I mean to be honest this does happen on a lot of our shows there's at yeah. least one show a year that descends into just <laughs> food food yeah so I, I think uh, it's when we're on day 27 of Ramadan <laughs> it's probably understandable isn't it's just, it it's just <laughs> one of those things it's bound to happen we started there with tea we we'll ended up on pizza <laughs> yeah. chicken and chips um, I'm still not sure about what Luxury's your invention is other than just a normal frying pan. I couldn't um, think of anything. I thought, I'm quite hungry. Yeah, but you can like make chicken, chicken and chips. Chip. What you want is something... It would be, oh yeah, be pretty cool if it was a vending machine. Which, um, cause I know they you do can get pizza vending machines now. Yeah, I've seen it. That come out hot? Or? Yeah, yeah, hot pizza from a vending machine. That's interesting. I saw this um, program about a hotel in Japan. Yeah. And the whole um, hotel is run by robots. I don't right. know if you've seen it. May have done. I don't know. And in there, they have a vending machine with um, all foods. Yeah. They're all hot. You just press it and it comes yeah. up. Which I think is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It is. That'd be pretty cool. Well, it should be pretty hot, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I think it would be good for like, offices and stuff, actually. Yeah. It would yeah. be really good. I mean, I know the food at, food, the food at my work is, uh, is terrible. Um, so I wouldn't mind a vending machine that does pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, be a nice change of pace. Mm. Uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, we haven't had any more text yet. Um, so, in that film, um, The Fifth Element, have you seen that? No. Really? No, I haven't seen it's it. It's quite an old film, yeah. but it's got Bruce Willis and it's got. Um, the only Bruce Willis films I've seen are uh, Red. Um, Red 2. Red 2. <laughs> I think that's it. Die Hard? I've not seen oh, Die yeah, Hard. I've seen, okay. Die I've seen Hard. like a bit of it on TV once. Okay. But anyway, but so this is um, uh, a film set in the future and it's got you know, flying cars and all that sort of stuff. And there's yeah. the fifth element is a, a supreme being that is here to save the planet, basically. And um, in that program, she's um, she puts a, a small plate 
with a little cube or something in the microwave, yep. presses the button, goes ding about two seconds later, and out comes a full roast turkey and all the vegetables. That is what you really need. Yeah, that'd you need be pretty, something yeah. that would immediately convert dry food to a proper... What would be even better is if you could do it like um, through an app. So you, the microwave's just there. What is it with you and apps? <laughs> apps of the future. <laughs> yeah. um, so you, instead of like going on Just Eat, you go on your microwave app. You don't need to put anything in the microwave. You just choose what, Google what meal you want to yeah. eat. Type it and it just makes it. As we're talking about food, what I did see at, um, on TV was a restaurant that has got um, projectors in the ceiling that project the picture of the meal that you order onto the table in front of you so you can see what the meal will look like that's that's pretty cool before oh. you order it so and then so you can go through the menu and it's electronic menu and you can select the different dishes and then project it onto the table and then when you press send it then i do like this one that because I'm, I'm definitely someone who um the look of the food yeah. does impact a lot of yeah, whether, where, whether i'll actually eat it or not yeah <laughs> it reminds me of that time when i had that thing that was amazing. yeah let's not talk about that <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the look of food is important to me. If you go to a restaurant, it's the look of the restaurant that's I don't quite mind, important. I don't mind really the look of the restaurant. Like um, one of my favourite chicken and chip shops, I'm not going to mention them by name, is uh, their hygiene rating is like zero out of five. Hmm. And so I'm happy. Uh, but I'm happy to <laughs> eat there because, <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, because it's zero out of five, I'm not going to mention who they are. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've been eating there for. 10, 15 years, right. no, nothing that happened to me. My logic is like the heat that they're frying the chicken at, right? Yeah. Like, nothing was, it k- kills kill it. It kills 99.9% yeah. all known germs. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, so as long as the chicken tastes nice and the chili sauce is good, that's, that's enough for me. They do need um, chili sauce though. No, they don't. But anyway. I still haven't found a decent Donner place in Milton Keynes. So. Oh, um, yeah, have German you been to Donner? German Donner? Yes. You didn't like it? No, I don't like the sauce. The sauce is amazing. The no, it's part. horrible. Which sauce did you have? All three. The, I don't, like the, I don't like the yogurt, but the garlic and the spices. No, amazing. They're, they're just not the I same. Get, I get don't like them. them. Sorry, it's Donner not, Kebab. If, it's, uh, not, German it's, Donner, it's not as good as Peanut Kebab in London. I'll give no, you that, that's right. But it's, it's, it's incredible. And there's bread, amazing. The bread's nice. The bread's amazing. The beef's amazing. The chicken's amazing. The sauce is amazing. Even the salad's nice and fresh. What one um, did you have? Was it just uh, check the beef one or whatever? It's nice mixed. That's why. Yeah, you should it. get mixed. Definitely mixed. Yeah. You should try it today. Um, with Daddy. We, yeah, we went a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, let's go, let's go there today, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down well. Um, <laughs> we, went, we went a couple of weeks ago for Iftar, and it, that, that was one thing. That, uh, they're good as well. Their service is really good. Um, so we were able to go pray Maghrib first, and then go. And st- we still made it for Dravi afterwards, because right. we went that quick. Last time I went to German, Donna was in Birmingham, I think, when we went up there to watch the badminton. Right. So after that, we went to... So we're looking for halal places to eat, and that yeah. was one of the nearest there. So yeah, fair enough. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I recommend that uh, Istanbul Donner in New Bradwell is good as well. Yeah, I think g- going there. back to tech, I think yes. what they should start introducing <laughs> more in cars now is um, if you look at rally cars, yep. they have um, tire pressure monitors in there, but yep. they can also adjust the tire pressure right. from inside the car. And I think something similar like to that on a production car uh, would be very useful. So that you know, if for, for whatever, because people tend not to check the pr- t- pressures of their tires frequently. Yeah, my tire pressure warning is on at the moment. Actually, it's been on for about three weeks, but I haven't right. bothered to actually. <laughs> so I mean, that might be down to yeah, any matter. Yeah, you yeah, might, you have, might have a nail in your tire. Yeah. It might be just that it's lost a bit of pressure or whatever. Yeah. Um, actually, if you go to Asda, yep. and their petrol filling, if you put air in from there, yep. theirs is high nitrogen, right. and that's better to fill your tyres with, because nitrogen molecules are bigger than ordinary air molecules, and therefore less likely to seep through the, the, the rubber of the tyre, and therefore lose pressure. That's uh, definitely technology. That is technology, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I might have made that up. No, I haven't. It, it's, <laughs> it is nitrogen in... No, yeah, if it's um, a high proportion of nitrogen, the tyres will retain their pressure longer. For me, I, I, my, I have that thing. I just, it plugs into the cigarette lighter thing and it just... Oh, yeah. Put, it's a pump, basically. Pump. I just use that. Because no, you can get those little um, valve covers now, can't you, yeah. that are Wi-Fi enabled and they'll send a, oh, really? a t- text to your phone if your tire, and it'll tell you which tyre is low and then... So. That's, pretty, that's pretty interesting. That I might have to look cool. into that. I wonder how, how, how the battery must be tiny. Tiny yeah, I don't know. You have to uh, change them every week or something. <laughs> yeah, and also there's nothing to stop somebody just walking past and taking, and taking yeah. them off. So, yeah. 
that, because that, they look obviously a lot, a slightly bigger than a normal uh, black uh, valve cover. Yeah. So we have come to the end of our show. Uh, it was a bit off topic today, so we apologise for that, I guess. But we still, I'm sure some people still enjoyed it. It's more yeah, interesting. I enjoyed being here, despite yeah. being unwell. <laughs> just in case I didn't mention that. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. Apparently, apparently, yeah. We'll clarify that. Just in case anyone didn't know, yeah, Max is unwell, so he's fought through that. So I have. the if you want to, if you want to vote for us on the poll for best show, you got to just look look at the dedication, the dedication from the our commitment. Hosts. It's uh, un- un- unrivaled. It is. Uh, we were doing quite well, but apparently I've just found out there's a new poll now because there was a limit on the number of responses for the old one. Oh, really? So if you voted for us before, you've got to vote again. That's and, disgraceful. Yeah, I know. It's fixed. It is. <laughs> yeah. Sure yeah. Um, oh, before we go, jelly beans. Oh, yeah. You need to submit your guess. Yeah. I think there's 546. I went for 536, so I recommend voting about 5,000. I think so. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, inshallah, we'll see you back next year, maybe. Um, hope everybody else has a successful remainder of Ramadan and a very very happy Eid Mubarak to you all okay. yeah, Eid Mubarak Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum